my name is Susanna and I'm here partnering with The Kitchen Is My Playground. Today we're bringing you a recipe for spinach and artichoke dip party squares. Now you might think, how can you possibly make spinach and artichoke dip better than it already is? Adding crescent rolls, always the best ingredient, right? Anything can be better with a crescent roll. To take some of this vegetable soup mix here, pour this into a mixing bowl some mayonnaise, and sour cream. Give all of this a good stir. So I wanna make sure all of the soup mix is well coated so it can start to soften a bit. And then we're gonna set this aside. With that set aside, I can go ahead and start prepping the crescent rolls. We wanna bake these in the oven before we add the dip on top. And you just wanna lightly coat your pan with some oil. You are going to take a tube of the crescent roll dough and just unroll it onto the pan here. Once you've got the crescent roll dough pressed into a baking pan, just go ahead and place it in the oven until it's lightly golden brown. So now while the crescent roll dough is cooking, we are going to mix up the rest of our ingredients for the dip. So first, of course, I have some spinach. I'm just going to dump that right in here. Some delicious Monterey Jack cheese. We'll be adding some water chestnuts too. These are already diced pretty small. I'm just gonna chop them up a tiny bit more to get that fine dice that we need for this recipe. I'm going to add those in here. Artichoke hearts, which I've just finished draining here. And these we also want to chop up a bit more as well. So I just gave those a rough chop and we can add those artichoke hearts to the bowl now. The last thing to add in here is just a garlic clove. And so I'm going to use my mincer because that's a little easier than chopping it by hand. All right. Garlic is in there now. Might need a bigger spatula too. <laughs> so I'm just going to mix all of this dip mixture together here. And then once it's all mixed together, we're just waiting on the crescent roll dough to finish. And we'll put this over the top of it. So the crescent roll dough has had a chance to partially bake in the oven. It's time to add our spinach artichoke mixture to the top of this. And everything is really well combined, so that way you get all of those flavors, a little taste of every ingredient we added in each bite. So last step before this goes back in the oven, we're gonna sprinkle the top with some Parmesan cheese. Ready for this? Look how amazing that turned out. It looks so, so delicious. You've got that perfectly gooey, melty um, spinach artichoke dip. You have this golden crescent roll dough browned up perfectly. I mean, that looks so good. I'm really excited to try this one. So our spinach artichoke party dip squares have sat for a few minutes now just to cool a little bit to set. I'm gonna go ahead and try some of these. And you cut them with a pizza cutter. Oh, that cuts so nice. Another tip from Tracy. Cut very well that way, so much easier. There you go. That is your spinach artichoke party dip squares. So I'm gonna go ahead and try some of this and see how it came out. Mmm. So perfect. That's delicious. That is really, really good. Um, I mean, you really can't go wrong with spinach artichoke dip and like I said, really just the convenience of having it on the crescent roll dough so you don't have to bring crackers for it, you don't have to bring like little pieces of bread for it, it's all just here ready to go, all in one bite. You can be, have a little handheld appetizer here and it's super convenient, I think less messy too this way, not to mention super delicious. So definitely check out The Kitchen Is My Playground's blog, there will be a link below leading directly to this recipe and get the full list of ingredients and measurements. I will see y'all soon.